Hi, we're going to show you how to use Desmos to go ahead and make a correlate or make a scatter plot and then also find the correlation. So we're going to have to build a table like you see here. So we're going to start from scratch. You click on a, a cell like you were going to enter an equation, but now you click add item in the upper left hand corner and we're going to go for a table. And I'm going to use the um, information that we used before. Sorry, I got interrupted there. So I'm going to use the information that we used before on a previous video where we compared study time to test score. So for example, somebody who studied, I'm going to enter, start entering information in here. Somebody studied for 20 minutes and they got a score of 52%. Then I go to the next spot in the table. They studied for 80 minutes and they got a score of 84%. I'm going to go ahead and complete this table. I'll pause it while I'm doing it. So I've made my table, I've completed my table, and I should see a scatter plot over here on the graph. And then you say, well, I don't see a scatter plot. Well, normally that's because your axes, your x-axis and your y-axis are not fitting your data. My x values go all the way up to about 80, and my y values seem to go all the way up to almost 100. So I would go over here, one of the ways to do it is go to the graph settings and say, hey, x-axis, Let's go from 0 to, we'll be safe and go by 100, step 10 at a time. The y-axis, let's go from 0 to 100, and we're going to go by units of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, boom. Now you see your scatter plot. Now in this case, you can kind of tell that you have a positive correlation. And by the way, you can move this around and you can zoom out. You might even see the scatter plot better if you zoom out or zoom in. But now you can see that we have a positive correlation between X, which is study time, and Y, which is score on the test. And if you wanted to know how strong is that correlation, you would need a correlation coefficient. So I'm going to go down here, ignore this other table, that's it for a different thing. I'm going to go to a new cell, and I'm going to now say go to this keypad, go over to functions, you should be familiar with this from the previous stuff, and click on statistics, and now right here it says correlation. So I click on correlation, and the data that I'm working with is x1 and y1, so I literally just do x1 comma y1. I'm telling Desmos, can you please find the correlation between x1 and y1? And sure enough, there's my correlation coefficient r. It's positive. And since this is a pretty clear trend, it's pretty close to 1. It's 0.76. Now soon we're going to learn how to draw that trend line and maybe get an exact equation for that trend line. But I want to show you, um, I'm going to get rid of this uh, scatter plot. Boom, I hit x, and it is gone. But I have a new scatter plot that I've put in there, so I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And now in this case, you say, wow, that just looks like a mess. Well, that's because our x-axis and y-axis aren't really fitting our data. So I could mess around with the graph settings, or I could start zooming in. I'm going to choose the zooming in method. And as I zoom in, I chose this one on purpose because... I don't have any words on what we're correlating right now, so let's worry about that a little bit later. But if you look at this, the trend is not very clear. Um, I guess if I had to guess, I would see a negative trend. So I think my R correlation coefficient is going to be negative. And I think it's going to be very slightly, ne uh, slightly strong. A better way to say that is it's a weak negative correlation. And I say it's weak because I can't really see that trend. Well, if I say now that this data came from x sub 2 and y sub 2, I can change my correlation to x sub 2 and y sub 2, and now I get my correlation coefficient. Sure enough, it's negative, and this value is a lot closer to 0 than it is to negative 1, telling me it's kind of weak. So the correlation on this scatter plot is negative 0.37 a weak negative correlation. So that's how you can build scatter plots and find correlation coefficients on Desmos. 
And the last thing we'll do with that is eventually do a line of best fit through your data.